What's good, gamers? It's been a very long time since I put out an uploaded video. It was just a few things that I just wanted to get off my chest as far as gaming goes. And why do I have this little bit of time with you guys? I'm going to take these 20 minutes and continue to talk about what I don't like in gaming as far as with Microsoft and Xbox is doing as far as providing games for their fan base um, they're not um, providing AAA bangers like they initially said they didn't promise on any promises that they came out and said they let a lot of gamers down and people think when we talk so much bad about Xbox is not hating on the product how can we hate on a piece of plastic it comes from a person that puts so much time and effort and money mind you gaming is not a cheap hobby it's in a very expensive hobby so you have one company that's putting out a lot of games for their fans and you have another that just giving them shovelware um, half big games as you will um, I don't understand this logic and as you continue to bash PlayStation for what PlayStation games have been getting for the last eight to nine years of nothing but games on the PS4 platform and now the PS5 platform I'm satisfied on what my platform of choice has been given me throughout the years of being a gamer on PlayStation I prefer the PlayStation ecosystem I prefer the trophy list on PlayStation other than the achievement list on Xbox I really don't like the controller on Xbox. Uh, I don't like how um, you mislead me as a gamer and telling me you have the most powerful console in the world and your console is not showing what you're saying it does. I have a problem with a company coming out saying you don't have the best deal in gaming in which Game Pass hasn't lived up to that at any standard now this is going to be a very long video of me ranting I'm gonna just jump all over the place because I see a lot of people just coming out with some reddick nonsense as a gamer I don't have to put up with that um, I prefer quality as well as these other so-called gamers should be worried about is quality not worrying about what game is not going to your platform or if it's not going into a service I care less about these games going into a service I buy my games outright it's been a very long time since gaming has been around and the first thing that people was doing when they want to play these games they buy them they don't wait till it hit a service a service is going to make you continue to get these indie low quality games that a lot of these gamers do not like they hype them up I don't understand why they're hyping them up when you gonna continue to get these games from now until when you shut up about what product moves what console or what game move what gamer to enter the ecosystem I don't see why people don't see that it's crazy to understand their logic I won't go down to that path of lying to gamers deceiving gamers a lot of people work hard for their money and they don't want to get deceived and they don't want no half-baked product like say if I went to McDonald's and I ordered a big fish meal and that's all I wanted 
and they gonna give me a a winky dink cheeseburger. I'm saying like, that's not what I ordered. I ordered a big fish, not this winky dink cheeseburger. But people will be happy for whatever they give them. Like Grant Aaron, excuse me, Aaron Greenberg went out there and said they eat anything, and that's true. I believe that be his words. I don't believe it's fake. People trying to spin it off like he fake. If you look at his old tweets and what he has been saying for the past few years, it's been the same shit as what he just wrote a couple of weeks ago, translated in a different language. You can't pull the wool over my eyes. But I just want to just continue just seeing how Microsoft can persuade me as a gamer to um, enter their ecosystem without Game Pass. What games are you going to have without being in the service for I can purchase? I'm willing to give everyone a chance if they're bringing quality games to a platform and the games that I want to play that's on that platform I own. So it's never to bash, it's never to hate now I see a lot of people hate on the PS5 because what the PS5 games have Xbox gamers don't have the only way you can have those games is if you go out and buy the platform it's on simple see I don't see why they say $70 is a problem for where these bundles was over $70 and they sold out the last of us Remake, God of War, bundles, all those sold out. And they was high priced in $70. So people just complain just to complain. They're just mad because it's not on their platform. Sony have bangers. Yeah, Sony can do some wrong. They did some wrong with me as a gamer. Like, I prefer to play on your frat platform. I don't want to see your games, especially on your YouTube channel, showing me about a game going to PC I don't want to see that shit like I don't work too hard to spend my money on the plug and play on your platforms that's what I love to do plug and play I'm not getting no PC I care less about PC it doesn't interest me I'm a console gamer and I'm gonna stay that way but I just want Sony to do be transparent I want Microsoft to be transparent Microsoft is just a lost cause because I'm not um, I'm not providing no money to their fucking platform or nor uh, the Game Pass model or any services. I'm essential, yes. I'm at the lower tier. I will stay that way. These two tiers that Sony has put together, I own every last game in those services that I want to play. So I'm not going to help Sony get more money out of me when they doing for wh whoever wants those games. I'm not that gamer. I buy my games. I will continue to buy the games that's quality for what I want to play. Gaming is a very selfish hobby and I don't understand why people want these developers not to charge the seventy price the seventy dollar price tag that they asked for their games. I don't see anything wrong with it, but a lot of people do. And I'm against what they're talking about because they're hitting with rhetoric and nonsense and bullshit I don't want to see these companies not do without their just dues and they put in so much time and effort within the games they make they spend a lot of time away from their families a lot of them have to take in this work to move this work inside their homes uh, they had to teach their kids about development for why they bring in all this in their home to finish up a game to make it quality for gamers that really want to play it I'm tired of all this hating on a game because it's not coming to your platform and want to find any and everything to bash it it shouldn't be that way and it's all Xbox gamers that's all I see because they really ain't got shit now Microsoft then let these idiots run wild without no fucking games and hating on PlayStation games I don't understand why is Microsoft doing this to their gamers? Yes, they just acquired some developers to hurry up with some games, but I don't understand. You have at least over 25 developers. One just couldn't make a game to satisfy them for a couple of weeks or a couple of 
days to get them off of uh, our backs about our games. I said, I wasn't one to never hate on anything. Like, as far as human beings go, I don't hate on them. Like, I, I, I'm just one person that's just love video games and I continue to express that with all the hate that these companies is getting especially Nintendo and the way bashing Nintendo when they got characters like Mario that's a 25 plus old character and they still charging his game $60 after this shit been out on the market for 7 to 8 years and this price tag is still $60 but I don't see nobody in that film why is it always Sony? Because Sony has them games that attract a lot of gamers and a lot of gamers don't like that. Why Microsoft can't get that? Why Microsoft can't get the notoriety? Why they can't get the praise? Because they're bringing out shovelware and trying to mislead the gamer and trying to get you for your money. It's greed with Microsoft. Yes, they need to change their ways about what they're doing with the hardcore gamer out here. Especially when they bring in shovelware. They bring in indies to the platform and everybody hyping them like they're good. You can come across a few indies that's good, but who want to continue playing them when that's all they got? It's sad. When Sony got a mortgage board of games, we can go through any type of game from indie to middle class to triple A, you name it, we got it. And they hate on that. I could understand why. If I wasn't a fan of PlayStation, I'd be hating too. But I wouldn't be going out here lying to these gamers, telling them things that's not true. Microsoft need to wake up. These gamers need to wake up. These gamers need to just be on Microsoft door. Go to Redmond. Bang on your door. Ask for quality triple A bangers and stop being so much concerned about what Sony is doing. All these good games that Sony is bringing out and they worrying about them. Worry about your own platform. Worry about what Microsoft is what Microsoft can do for you and yours. I haven't seen so much hate. It's ridiculous how these gamers think. Nobody is not going to believe what you say when you talk stupid. Look at fucking Crack Gamer, how he just lied the whole last generation. After he couldn't get nobody to stop buying fucking PS4s, it generated to 150 million copies sold. So you're talking and just wasted time. You wasted time and air and effort to try to bash a company that's been providing games on which your platform of choice haven't been provided shit but let down after let down I don't see why these idiots let this shit go on for so long and then they still praising these games Peppa Pig who out here playing that game why is that a thing that you want to continue playing you're a grown man out here you playing that it boggles my mind It's kind of sad how these people just lash onto anything, shovelware, and they eat it up, crack down. It's just so many games they done had that were just not living up to uh, living up to the hype or living up to the standards. I don't see how these games got past coding or some of their testers. Like, what was they thinking? They got past the testers and went right to the influencers and the reviewers and the game I handled who excuse me lied on these games to make people go out here and spend their money on and people fell for this shit Microsoft won't trick me I'm saying Sony is on that same type of level too but at least they coming out with quality games for their fans they're not trying to dick you on the way have you paying for a service you still ain't got no games in that service I'm talking about some game pass game pass Game Pass ain't shit. I'm not trying to hype up that service or Sony service. Fuck both of them services. You don't, jump me, you don't get me jumping on a bandwagon like that. I'm buying my games day one. I'm not trying to hear this shit with these people are talking about. See, it, it really don't 
get to me as much as it used to. I don't see me raising my voice. I don't calm down and curse it. You know? so I'm just trying to live my life and play my video games. That's all I've been doing. That's why I've been so busy doing other things, right? I won't have time to be on YouTube speaking the gospel, speaking the truth, and let people know we are aware of the rhetoric and nonsense. And me, myself, is not going to let nobody tell me anything different. When I know you're lying, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to come out and just tell you, you're a liar. I've been doing it. So, all that, you can miss me with that. Like, I'm going to continue buying these games. If they're quality. Yes, I'm going to get them. If it's something that I want to play, I'm going to get it. I'm not going to let no Joe Smo or an Xbox wannabe PlayStation fan tell me anything about a game when I know I'm looking for myself and seeing it's good. Fuck all that extra bells and whistles that these people claim to be in these consoles. Like, I'm into the game. I'm into playing it. I'm not into worrying about what's the secret sauce or all that other stuff these people talking about. This dual sense, this dual sense is making the controller feel amazing to me and I'm copying this game. It, it, it's a game changer in its own right. The controller itself can make people buy it then just buy the console because the controller is legit. They can't tell me otherwise when you got to click and shoot button on that, can, that loud ass Xbox controller. No upgraded parts. The Xbox One Series X is a nigga that really upgraded. I ain't do no really touch ups on it, but it is what it is. It's supposed to be the most powerful console in the world, but it's not living up to the hype that these people claim to be. I've seen so many hours of different podcasts, people going crazy over the power of the X and see what they can do. It's going to be PS5 in the dust and haven't seen none of that shit yet. PS5 is still climbing the charts. Uh, Horizons of Redon just made it in the UK charts, still like winning Sony is still winning out here like the market leader is still dominant and still showing their fans that they can give us games and we're still getting these games and I'm happy I can't ask for um, nothing more we just got too many games it's hard for me to get into them with me working so many hours as much as I was working it was hard for me to even get into beating my games you know what I'm saying I beat games it's just to find the time to beat them and I support these developers day one on their craft their gift they show me a different part of the world that I want to enter and I want to play it it's interesting to me I want to know more about it I'm going to jump on it none of these people words don't move me to stop me from buying anything I want it's just me I just hope everybody has that same mindset that way the that, that same way of thinking of let no one tell you what to buy unless you see it yourself and it's okay for you people to look at reviews me myself I don't look at other people's opinions on buying a game I've always been that way if it's the game I like and I see it and it excites me to go back out there and play it yeah I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna buy it no matter what it is you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna let nobody stop that ever I'm doing me we should all do us you know this hobby is very expensive so you can't let them like um, control your fate on your hobby especially Microsoft when they are nothing but a greedy company want to take you for all your money and they really giving you anything in return so people need to look at that and realize that they all about to try to get you for your cash you're not reaping the benefits on any of these games that they're bringing out they're taking way too long for developers. They acquired five to four years ago. Where are those games? The Obsidians. The um, what's uh, what's the other um, the ones that's made Hellblade? Those those developers, they games should be coming out pretty soon. Like when we gonna see those? But they ain't gonna have none for a whole year, and it's really sad. But once you talk shit, you gonna get trashed. I gotta tell them Xbox fans, y'all need to come out correct. And start speaking that nonsense and them lies and that rhetoric and hating shit, because you will get checked. This is game over, and I'm out.